Hello, in this video I will demonstrate advanced techniques of manipulating and exporting your bill of materials in SOLIDWORKS assembly using BOM Plus module from CAD Plus toolset. In order to display BOM using BOM Plus, it is required to navigate to CAD Plus menu in Tools and click View BOM command. By default we have one template and it just displays description, quantity and part number in the indented BOM. You can hover your mouse over the icon to see the preview. It is possible to create custom icons. So let's navigate to BOM templates folder and start by creating a new BOM template file. We can give it a name and double click to activate BOM template editor. We can set the name of this template, let's call this one main. Now I want to activate one of the parts of this assembly to see what custom properties available. In this case we have revision, part number, weight and material. So let's create bill of materials template which is going to accommodate those properties. We can specify the name of the column and also the source of the value. So this one will be a name. So if it's a component, it's going to be a component name. Next one is a part number and we're going to read that from the custom property called part num. Another one is weight and this one is going to be extracted from the custom property called weight. Next column is a revision which is going to be extracted from the corresponding custom property called revision. And the last one is a quantity. So we're going to select quantity as a value source. There are three types of bomb available, indented, flat and top levels only. So let's keep it as indented and we can also specify the filters. So for now we're just going to show parts and assemblies in this bomb. Once finished, click save to commit the change. Let's activate bomb command. And now new main template has been applied and you can see all the properties displayed in the bomb. We can click expand all button to expand all the nested items in our bill of materials. We can export this bomb to different formats. Let's start by exporting this to XML. XML can nicely accommodate hierarchical data of our BOM. And this is usually compatible with multiple ERP or PLM systems. In some cases you would want to bring all of the items to the top level to generate flat BOM. Let's create template for that. I'm going to use the same column so I can just copy the file and rename it. Let's double click to activate the editor. Let's rename our BOM to flat and select flat as a type of our bill of materials. Flat type of BOM is similar to parts only BOM in SOLIDWORKS. However, you can specify additional filters. So in this case, I'm also going to list sub-assemblies in addition to parts. So let's activate flat and you can see all our sub-assemblies and parts have been listed on a top level and the quantities have been multiplied accordingly. As this is a flat BOM, we can export it to different format. For example, Microsoft Excel file. So let's select Excel from our service type, specify the name and click save. Now let's open that file and you can see our BOM is displayed in Microsoft Excel. BOM Plus also allows to read BOM in the assembly opened in lightweight or large design review mode. So here I have a large assembly of SHED which I could open in large design review mode. But I can still activate the bill of materials and see the data accurately displayed in my view. I can change templates to update my bill of materials view. Let me activate sub-assembly of the shed to demonstrate you another feature of BOM Plus. In some cases building steel structures it is beneficial to use a top-down design and creating all of the members in individual files. This makes easier to add holes into the members so they not affect another component of the same file. And this could result into the problem as all of our files are individual files and despite those are of identical geometry they are listed as an individual rows in a bill of materials. So in this case this plate and this plate are identical and they share the same part number. However they are listed as two individual rows with quantity 1 in our bill of materials. So it is required to additionally group our bill of materials based on the part number column. I will start by creating a new BOM plus template file. I'm going to specify the name and double click to activate the editor. Here I'm going to add few columns. So I will start by adding the part number column and reading the value from the corresponding custom property. As this is going to be the column to group by, I'm going to check group by checkbox. I will continue and add another column called weight and also going to read the custom property from the weight custom property in the model. 
And finally, I'm just going to specify the quantity column to read the quantity in. Let's specify the name and also specify the type of this bomb, which is going to be a flat bomb. I'm only going to display parts, so just select the parts filter and save the file. Let's refresh the list of templates so I can use my part number group template. So as you can see, now all of the quantities are grouped by part number. Bomb plus functionality is also available directly from the Windows File Explorer. And to use it, you don't even need to have solvers installed on that machine. Let me activate main assembly and navigate to its file in Windows File Explorer. Let's click show and folder command. So now I can close it model in SOLIDWORKS and activate context menu in Windows File Explorer. By clicking the BOM plus command, I can see that window, which display a bill of materials directly in that pop-up dialog. I can also move my mouse and see the preview and can use all of my templates as defined in my template settings. In a similar way, I can export this bill of materials if I want to. In a similar way, non-modeled BOM Plus items can be displayed in the bill of materials. Please follow the link in the description of this video for more information about managing non-modeled items using BOM Plus. This assembly already contains some non-modeled items and hardware components inserted using BOM Plus items. They are however not visible at the moment because current templates do not show items. So let me create new template and call it items only. So we're only going to display items in our bomb view. Let's double click to activate and let's specify columns we want to display. We're going to use name as the first column, which is going to be our item name. We're going to use part number and link it to the corresponding part number of our item. Let's also add a description, which is going to be a property called description. And finally, we're going to specify the quantity column to list our quantity. I will name this template as items only, set it to be flat bomb and specify items as a filter. Now I can save it and update my templates. Now I can select items only template from the drop down list and now you can see all of my non-modeled items and hardware components are listed in this bill of materials. Thank you for your time.